for just a second. What's going on, man? Good morning. Hey, good morning. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. He is risen. <laughs> he has risen. Did the, did the Easter Bunny come for you? Uh, yes, the Easter Bunny came. Um, the Easter Bunny delivered a inflatable water slide um, that we've got the hose uh, hooked up to and everything to go in the pool. And Mavi is losing her shit. She looks at me. She, she like locks eyes and she goes, I'm going to go down this 100 times today. <laughs> that sounds about right. The Easter How Bunny you doing, man? Me, good. The Easter Buddy brought me fresh squeezed OJ for my mimosa right here. The FedEx truck showed up today with yeah. um, nine bags of knocking point coffee, which is so good. Mackenzie loves it, and she's a coffee connoisseur. It's really, really good. It's really, really good. And three yeah. cases of wine. So that's exciting. <laughs> Dude, that's, your, that's your quarantine stash. I got a little, um, my, my look today, by the way, I've got three buffs on. And I've got a Rafa Nadal uh, sweatband going right here. What is, <laughs> speaking of, of uh, Nadal, uh, Federer has this video that he posted of, yeah. of him outside at his place in the snow, hitting a tennis ball, like just like whacking yeah. against the wall. Have you seen this video? Of course I have. I've never seen anything like that in my life. The amount I, of control and, and skill and ability that guy has with a tennis racket and tennis ball between his legs, behind his back, over and over again. It's unbelievable. Okay. I got a question for you. Yeah. We've got so much stuff to go over today. <laughs> Question for you. What's better, Steph Curry's three-point shot or just Rafa Nadal on clay? Nadal. I think. That's why Federer is the best player ever because he has won so many Grand Slam tournaments and he's come up against the greatest clay player ever, period, forever, period. Rafa Nadal is better at playing on clay than any tennis player has ever been at anything. <laughs> Think about this for yeah. a second. Let's, let's say that Rafa Nadal came 15 years earlier. Federer has won 11 French Opens yep. by this point, and he's won like 35 major championships. Majors, yep, yep. Yeah. But he just happened to run in – to the greatest clay player on the, in the history of the world ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> uh, okay. How do well, you even get good at clay, right? Because, like, how many kids grow up with a clay court down the street or in their backyard? I don't know. None. The answer is none. none. The answer is none. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So I want to give a couple of shout outs today. Uh, we are not having a guest on today. Um, my buddy, Adam, uh, who runs a company called 15 seconds of fame, uh, <laughs> smart guy. I hope he catches a break eventually and becomes successful, but whatever. Um, uh, he is, uh, he is gifting, uh, 10, $200 gift cards. Wow. Today. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to be live with him on his Instagram handle, which I will post uh, after this chat. Um, I'm going to be interviewed by a lovely young lady named Ali LaForce. And um, we're just going to be chatting. But he is giving away 10 $200 gift cards. So he's giving away 2000 bucks for the knocking point cash? That's nuts. Yeah. Two grand. <laughs> That's great. Good for Adam. So there will be a post after this. Um, Again, it's all about, are you contributing to your community? Uh, do you know someone that is contributing to their community? Um, so when you see that post, um, tell your story, like the posts that you think um, are making a difference. And uh, thanks very much to Adam. It's gonna be great. That's incredible. Thank you, I wanna get That's great. Yeah, absolutely. I wanna give another shout out to, um, to Code 8 because it's fucking crushing it on Netflix right now. So it's hilarious. I actually started Code 8 this morning. 
right? Okay. And it was the three of us. It was it was me and the the uh, kiddos. And I start it, and it has you and Robbie, and both kids lock on. They're like, I'm just David and Robbie. I start it. It gets no no further than 30 seconds in because it's kind of a dark start with the music. Miller takes off running, leaves the room. No, 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 no. And Kennedy looks at me almost in tears like, I don't want to watch it, Daddy. <laughs> so I stopped it. <laughs> so Can you do me anyway, a favor? I tried. Can you do me a favor? Can you leave it playing just in the background? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I will. It, uh, it it takes some time to for these things to populate on uh, on the Netflix algorithm, but um, it was the number five most watched thing yesterday in the entire United States film or television. Period. That's incredible, man. Congrats again. As long Good as it you guys. As, look, as long as it stays above All American. Okay, that's all I care about. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Robbie. I'm. T- uh, Robbie Rogers. I'm kidding, Greg. I, I promise. Um, all right, man. Are you ready for some derby stories? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. And again, this is our daily knocking point chat. Uh, knocking point, if, if, if you aren't already aware, is uh, a small business that Drew and I started. Uh, we are trying to keep the doors open. Oh, Jesus Christ. We are trying to keep the doors open and we're trying to keep the team... Do- we're trying to keep our team in Walla Walla working. Um, again, the gift cards today that we're giving away, thank you to Adam. Um, it's great. It's cool. Thanks, Adam. How's, how's, He's a nice how's, guy. Uh, how's Sarah doing up there? She's good. The I haven't talked Walla to her. Walla Walla team. They're doing great, man. They're a little behind. Um, we sold pallets upon pallets of wine during the speed <laughs> rounds, which is great. <laughs> So they've, they've got some, some uh, orders to get out. And if everything goes the way I think it'll go this week with this next launch, they're going to have, you know, many, many, many more pallets to pack and ship. But they're doing well. I was, I was texting with her and dad this morning about Easter. And we'll see how it's, how it's going up there. It's actually warmer up there. It was like 72 degrees there yesterday when it's like 58 or 59 here in L.A. So weird. But uh, she's good. Okay. All right. Let's go through some uh, derby stories. So- for people that aren't aware, first? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to read them to you and you're going to just okay. tell me the story. All right. So um, starting with season one of Arrow, we went to the Kentucky Derby every year through all seven seasons. We obviously didn't go this year. Did they officially cancel it? I, you know, let's find out. I feel Real like time. they... I don't remember seeing the announcement. They moved it, man. September 5th, 2020. No shit. Yep. We might have to go. Yeah. September 5th. Labor Day. Is that Labor Day? Must be. Yeah, it is. All right. That's mm-hmm. awesome. We went to the, uh, we've gone to the Derby every year. Patricia Barnstable Brown hosts us. Uh, we go to her party on the Friday night. Uh, Officer Mike, which is a U.S. Marshal that is assigned to us for the entire weekend, is our driver and bodyguard, but less for real, us, real and more quick, for other be- people. Before, <laughs> before he was ours, who did he, uh, who did he escort around for the Derby weekend? It was it was Aaron Andrews, right? Yes, it was. For, <laughs> yes, it was <laughs> for a couple years, and then he got on duty with Stephen Amell and his boys. And then, what, at his, okay. and then at a, and then at a certain point, she requested him, and he goes, "No, no, I'm, I'm with Stephen and his crew <laughs> for life." I don't so know the why derby, you would ever do that. So the derby. So you get into you get into Louisville, Kentucky, on the Friday afternoon, and uh, anyone that hasn't gone to the derby before, they are passed out on that first night, hundred percent. No one knows how to pace themselves for the derby. Okay, it happens every time. Okay, doesn't matter who you are, how big you are. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell some stories. All right, this is just from what you texted me, Officer Mike, drinking your pappy, but hanging on to my seersucker for three years. <laughs> so, in season one, our first year, uh, we where were we at? We were at the, we were at the Galt House at some party. It was all a blur. And Stephen Stephen sees a bottle of of uh, Poppy Van Winkle, which is like 
$1,300 bourbon. It's like the best of the best, right? And so he's had a few drinks. And so he, he, he splurges. He splurges and he buys it for himself. And by the way, just, had, just, just, just as an aside, this Poppy Van Winkle was not for sale. Oh, right. It was not. It was, it was like on a, on a shelf display in a shop. It, it was like on display. And Stephen somehow negotiated with the person working there to buy it. Uh, and so we each had a little bit. I mean, literally drank it down to like, I don't know, yep. about like here, yep. right? That's like, about right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yep. and as we were leaving after this, uh, the, the, the derby on Sunday, Stephen leaves the poppy with Officer Mike, and I hand him my seersucker and say, hang on to this for next year because I'm not going to wear it until <laughs> derby next year, Mike. And Stephen says the same thing with the poppy. Fast forward a year, and if <laughs> we get back there, he pulls up to pick us up from the airport. He's got my seersucker dry clean, ready to go, on a hanger, waiting for me in the back of the SUV. Stephen asks about the poppy, and Officer Mike deadpan just goes, oh, boy, Stephen, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> it's like, and then I turn what do you mean you, and you like, enjoyed like, it? I, I go, wait, 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 wait. He's got to be fucking kidding, right? Drank but it. then we realized that he wasn't kidding. He just drank it. He drank it. He really enjoyed that. God bless Officer Mike. All right. <clears throat> Next one. Uh, I'm just going to read this verbatim. All right. Me sleeping and barfing in the backseat of Officer Mike's SUV on the last day of our first derby while you and he went in and watched Avengers at a movie theater in Indiana. First of all, it was not Avengers. <laughs> It was Iron Man 3. This was the Sunday after our first derby. And uh, were we flying out of Indiana? What was happening? No, it's just the Indiana's right across the river, right? So you've got Louisville right. that's, that's just right there on the Ohio River. I think it's the so, Ohio River. So all, of our, so all of our boys had gone home. At, at that point, we were only running five deep on the derby. It was me, you, Tim, Jeff, and Tavis. Yep. And I said to you, I'm like, look, man, we're just – we're going to go watch Iron Man 3. And you went, I would prefer to stay in the car and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so I did. It, you know, first, first derbies are a tough one. I actually made it, made it through the first night fine and the next day. But the third day, it caught up to me. <laughs> it's because the first it didn't happen we, again. It didn't happen it's, again. It's because the, it's cause two, the three, first four. Yeah, no, yeah. the first year, the first year, the first year we went on like a Thursday. Yeah, that's right. And this is also back when I used to drink bourbon and all that stuff too, on top of just like, you know, wine and champagne, which is basically what I stick to these days. But back in the old bourbon days, <laughs> way, way rougher next days. All right. Uh, last derby story for today. Um, uh, person who will not be named getting 86 from the hotel because of a fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could mention the names because 95% of the people out there know exactly who this person is watching this, right? But there's a, there's a, there's a guy. I'm going gonna, I'm uh, gonna to cry. I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> For whatever reason, this guy uh, who was also invited by Trisha Barstable Brown to come to the Derby um, and put up in the golf house. We learned later uh, by talking to him and talking about the Derby next year, and we learned that he was no longer invited and had been 86. And of course, the question was, "Well, you know, why? What'd you, what, uh, what'd you do, man? How did you get 86 from the fucking Kentucky Derby when everyone is just going mental? You really can't. You really can't overstate." how crazy the city of Louisville gets on Derby weekend. You really can't overstate. So the fact that he got 86th is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Like there is so, it's just like the bar is, is, is set really, really, is it high or low, right? For, for like, I mean, you can, you can really do bad things and get in trouble and do stupid stuff. And they'll just like, ah, whatever. Yeah, it's, 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 it
which is which is like which is which is the main hotel right he finds a fire extinguisher right like one of the fire extinguishers that is just like placed placed throughout the hotel okay takes it out of the out of the holder okay goes over and positions himself in front of the elevator okay (laughs) and he's waiting for the elevator to open it doesn't matter who's behind the door he doesn't know if anybody's in the elevator or not it it, it doesn't matter Oh, you can man. see Steven's camera. He's laughing. He's in that frame. Uh, <clears throat> the doors open. He has no idea. They're complete strangers. He has no idea who's behind the doors. The doors open, and he just goes wide open, full throttle, fire extinguisher blast. Boom! Just <laughs> fills up the elevator with the fire extinguisher. Uh, needless to say, uh, he got kicked out, and uh, he's not coming uh, back. Uh, uh, Ever. He's done. He's done. That's how... He, that's how you get 86, you know. You <laughs> and by the way, it was in the lobby of the golf house. So, like, people were watching. Like, the front desk is right there. <laughs> it wasn't like he was hiding. <laughs> it was just out the open. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what nose beers will do. <laughs> 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 oh. Uh. Uh, all right, I, I'm, I'm having too much fun. Let's tell one more derby story. Another one? She, yeah, just save, one more. Save, save Kate Upton for tomorrow. Would you like me to save Kate Upton for tomorrow? We'll save Kate Upton, for, yeah, for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Three in a day is plenty. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I'm I'm di- I'm I'm dying here, man. I can't I can't even control myself. Um, oh, hey, you, you you take over for a second. Just give me a minute. <laughs> Ross's superpower is another one that we can talk about. Ah! You know what? We can tell that one tomorrow too. Do me a favor. Don't don't randomly text me that. What do you mean? That, the video, that video? Of, the, the video of Ross's superpower. Why is that? <laughs> How come? Because I because I didn't know it was coming, and it just <laughs> it just hit me like a ton of bricks. <laughs> um, what is uh? What's your plan for the rest of the day, man? Oh boy, um, I'm like crying here too. Um, <laughs> not much. Just gonna hang with the kiddos he's gonna do some easter activities he's gonna make a big dinner tonight and um that's that's about it how about you i'm uh we're gonna smoke some brisket oh that's good you and clayton uh normally do the uh smoke the turkey on thanksgiving yep yep uh because i would for whatever reason when we were shooting arrow i would actually always try and make sure that i was the last person working on the Wednesday night before Thanksgiving, so that you know uh, all of the uh, uh, American people on the cast could go wherever they're gonna go for Thanksgiving. So I would always fly down to Palm Springs, and it's been like what three, four years now that we've done Thanksgiving up in Palm Springs. I'd say at least three or four. I think since Kennedy's been born, because we always do a Christmas tree the next day, right? Yes, we do. For as long how, as actually, actually, how, bi- it, how big is how big is that Christmas tree, by the way? Not as big as the first one you got out there, right? Stephen went big, and you've got vaulted ceilings in your living room there too in Palm Springs, like an angled, angled vaulted. You know, I I guess fifteen feet, sixteen. At feet. least, at least we had we had to put the tree outside because it <laughs> wouldn't it wouldn't fit in the house actually. Ah. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, you guys. So are we giving guys, away some money today, or is this going to wait until uh, five thirty with fifty seconds of fame and Adam? Uh, so we're going to wait until five thirty. Um, but uh, Zacho is going to pop up a post after we post this video. Um, and again, just like a just like the the post that's uh, pinned to the top of my Facebook page. We'll pin this one to the top now. Um, looking at your stories, looking to hear the way that you are contributing to your communities. And then when I am live with Ali LaForce on um, the 15 Seconds of Fame Instagram page, 
uh, we will read out the 10 winners, $200 gift card. It's nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Really he's a good, nice. He's a good dude. And again, I'm just, I'm just waiting for that moment where he can really become successful. You know what I mean? Because he's yeah, putting in the, he's putting in the work and the guy needs just, to catch a break. Yeah. It just yeah. really hasn't <laughs> happened for him, for him as of yet. You should, you should, you should mention real quick the FaceTime that you got on via him recently. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So I'm sitting in my apartment in Vancouver. Uh, gosh, this was maybe uh, September or October of this past year. I don't know. And all of a sudden I see Adam FaceTiming me. And I'm like, this, this, it's like 9.30 at night. I'm like, this must be important. And I click on the FaceTime and it's fucking Charles Barkley looking back at me. <laughs> hey, Steven, good to see you, man. We love Arrow in our house. What, what is happening? What's going on right now? Hey, Charles Barkley, uh, 1993 uh, NBA most valuable player, uh, member of the dream team. One of my favorite basketball players ever. Why are we FaceTiming right now? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> That's great. Good dude. Uh, really, really good dude. Um, there are very few people, and I think that you'd agree with this, that, uh, that you know in the, public, uh, in the public eye that are as advertised, that are the genuine article when you actually speak with them. You know what I mean? Yep. Like yeah. there are a lot of people that, 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 that put on a persona. Charles Barkley is Charles Barkley. He is as delightful and as engaging and as funny and as irreverent as you would imagine him to be in your wildest dreams. So is uh, Strahan from what you were saying too, right? Michael oh Strahan. my God, Michael Strahan. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen anyone walk happier than Michael Strahan. Yeah. Skip it, skip it. And... <laughs> Let's tell that story tomorrow. Okay, Michael yeah. Strahan tomorrow, Kate Upton tomorrow. And then the Charles Barkley story was good. Oh, oh yeah. I'm, I'm gonna make a post-it note and I'm gonna pop on the wall back there. Okay, good, good, good. Upton, good. Strahan. Yeah, and, there, and I think I texted you a couple more too but we'll 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 filter through those this this uh social distancing cannot last long enough for for us to tell all of our derby stories <laughs> <laughs> you know it, 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 <laughs> it's, it, it's 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 wild because we say that, that officer mike was our like, driver and escort and stuff but really at the end of the day He's the guy that's just like making sure that we can behave the way that we want to behave while he's deflecting everybody away from, right? It's like, nope, they're fine. I got them. They're my boys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> right? I mean, <laughs> and uh, you just kind of do whatever you want to do for three days for the most part. <laughs> Officer Mike stopped Ross from being arrested. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. Like very much so. No, 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 but I mean the next day when all oh, of the when all of the agents got together, when all the marshals got together and they're like, look at we've got to arrest this guy. <laughs> and Officer Mike's like, No, no, he's with me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You remember when Roscoe was taking photos with the other uh, marshals, <laughs> escorts, and reaching for their pistols? And he put his oh, arm around. He put his, he put his he put his arm around the shoulder of these guys, and then slide down and go for their gun on their on their. <laughs> <laughs> and every time they'd find, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! It, it, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Or you remember like getting back to the house that we were renting and, she, and as you're pulling in, Roscoe just busts out the door holding a fucking pistol. You're like, what is? No, he had a taser. He had a live taser, police issue taser that he'd somehow gotten away from one of those guys and he was chasing me with it. You know what? It's because he's retired military. 
<laughs> you can do that yeah, shit. Yeah, that's what he said. He's like, it's fine, ah! boys. C- Canadian Army. He's literally chasing me with a police issue taser down the street. I'm running. I'm just like, no, 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 no. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't wait for it to be tomorrow at 11 o'clock when we can have this conversation again. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. <clears throat> really quick, wrapping it up. Thank you to Adam. Check my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Stephen Amell. Uh, we are giving away 10 $200 gift cards today. Happy Easter. And yeah. thank you to Adam. And I will be live on uh, 15 Seconds of Fame. Now, the uh, Instagram handle is at 15SOF. Does that sound right? I think so. Yeah, that sounds, sounds right. Me. But uh, there will be a post here. Thank you guys very much. And um, I, I might have pissed. I might have pissed my pants. I laughed. So, I laughed so hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. This is great. Talk to you later. Cheers, man. All right. Talk to you bye. Soon.